Hey friends, today's read aloud is Turtles Penguin Day. And when Miss B is reading out loud today, I'm also going to be asking myself some questions that help me be a better reader. So when you're reading, you're going to want to ask these types of questions too. Let's get started. Turtles Penguin Day. One night, Father Turtle le read Little Turtle a story about penguins. So I'm thinking this is Father Turtle and this is Little Turtle. And it looks like we're in Turtle's room. When Little Turtle fell asleep, he dreamed he was a penguin. He played on the ice and dove into the water and swam and splashed with the other penguins. Wow, this is a really cool picture. You can see that Little Turtle is still in his bed, but the illustrator wanted to show you Turtle's dream. So this is actually Turtle's dream. In the morning, Little Turtle decided that he wanted to be a penguin. He put on his red slippers and waddled from side to side. After breakfast, Little Turtle had an idea. He went up to the attic and found his grandfather's black jacket in an old chest and put it on. Now I look like a real penguin, said Little Turtle staring at himself in the m in the m Mm, I don't know what this word is right here, so I'm going to skip it and use my eagle eye. So I'm going to use Skippy the Frog and skip over that tricky word, and I'm going to use my eagle eye to try to figure out what he is looking at himself in. So let me read again. Now I look like a real penguin, said Little Turtle, staring at himself in the m Oh, mirror! Little Turtle is staring at himself in the mirror. Hurry up, honey, said Mother Turtle, or you'll be late for school. I'm ready, said Little Turtle. You can't go to school in that funny costume, said Mother Turtle. It's not a funny costume, said Little Turtle. I'm a penguin. And then he put a book about penguins in his backpack and waddled outside to the school bus. Look at all of his friends. So I'm using my eagle eye to look at the different characters in the book. So he's leaving the house, and where is he going? He's going to school. We know that because it, he's getting ready for school, and he's getting on a school bus. Hello, little turtle, called the kids from the uh, from on the school bus. Hello, Little Turtle, called the kids on the school bus. Great costume! Thank you, said Little Turtle. I'm a penguin from the South Pole. Miss Dog, look, cried the children when they got to school. We have a penguin in my class. Oh my, said Miss Dog. Why do you look like a penguin today, Little Turtle? So now where are they? They're at school. Who do we think this character is? This is Little Turtle's teacher. And it looks like now we are at school going into the classroom. Because Daddy read me this book last night all about penguins, said Little Turtle. I love penguins. I love waddling from side to side like penguins do. I love sliding on my belly like penguins do. I even like to sleep standing up like penguins do, said Little Turtle. We want to be penguins too, cried all the children. So while Miss Dog read to them from the penguin book, they all tried to pass balls to each other using their feet the way penguins do with eggs. I wonder how the characters are feeling. They look like they're excited to learn new things. They're working together with their team. 
with their partners and they're passing the little ball between their feet like penguins do. That looks exciting. And when they had recess, little turtles and his friends slide down the slide on their b, b, hmm. I don't know what this word is, so I'm going to use Skippy the Frog, and I'm going to skip over it and read the rest of the sentence. They were sliding down on their, hmm, pretending they were penguins sliding on the ice. It starts with the b. They were sliding on their b bottoms? No, they weren't sliding on their bottoms in this book. They're sliding on their b. Oh! Bellies! Bellies! They're sliding on their bellies, pretending they were penguins. Can we slide on our bellies at school? No, we don't use the slide like that. We only slide on our bottoms. But in this pretend book, they get to slide on their bellies to be like penguins. During music time, they all danced at a waiting, a waddling penguin dance. They're all pretending to be little penguins. I think they're having a fun time. At nap time, all of them dreamed about penguins. Wow, I love this picture. You can see all of the animals having a great time, sleeping, napping, dreaming. They're all penguins in their dream. <laughs> I love this picture. Oh, now it, the setting has changed. We're not at school anymore. We're back at Turtle's house. How was school today? Asked Mother Turtle when Little Turtle came home. We had a great penguin day, said Little Turtle. It was great. That night, Little Turtle ate fish-shaped crackers with dinner because penguins love fish. And before he went to sleep, Little Turtle brushed his penguin beak. Even when Little Turtle got into bed, he still was pretending to be diving and swimming with his penguin friends. <laughs> Look at him. He's dived into his bed. Then Father Turtle brought a new bedtime story to read. This is the story of a little monkey who lives in a beautiful jungle, he said. Really? said Little Turtle. A monkey? <gasps> Now's a good time to predict what's going to, ha what's going to happen or what could happen. We're going to take a guess. What do we think is going to happen now that Little Turtle and Father Turtle are reading a book about monkeys. In the beginning, he read a book about turtles and he became a turtle. So now he's reading a book about monkeys. Let's see. If you think that little turtle is going to pretend to be a monkey, you're right. You guessed it right. And then Little Turtle fell asleep that night. He dreamed he was a funny little monkey. The end. Thanks for watching.